two things that you will get to know from this game is how to be adaptive when you play chess how to be adaptive when your opponent comes up with different opening moves and second is how to use your bishop pair effectively hey guys welcome back to the chess yard this is dhere bagga and today i'll be showing you this game which i played 7 hours back now i was playing here as black and i played the karo khan defense my open starts off with b4 which is kind of a strange opening to me i don't get to face this quite often i went with my standard set, set um, initial moves which was c6 open goes for c4 now and i play d5 here my opponent plays e3 uh, so i thought that i have a good chance to occupy the center and i went with e5 generally when you play the karo khan it's not that you play e5 but rather you play the bishop out you play e6 and then you develop the knight and your dark square bishop put your queen up and maybe develop the other knight as well on to d7 and maybe to b6 then castle either side depending on where you want to open up from but in this game since my opponent had already placed c4 uh, and b4 uh, the idea was to put the bishop on to the dark square diagonal on to b2 and always i towards the king side so i thought and since open didn't go for any of the center Uh, moves initially i went with e5 adapting to the changes what my opponent does now opponent goes with uh, bishop to b2 as expected which uh, eyes my pawn as well which is not defended so here i played e4 yes there's another way to save the pawn just moving it ahead and now i have light square control if you see i'm uh, controlling the light squares opponent has dark square control which is decent enough for now open now goes for a3 which was kind of passive and here i went with knight to f6 developing the knight controlling the central pawns if opponent does take i am okay to take back with the queen if a pawn trade happens i can simply take back with the pawn and i'll have the majority of the center uh, here open goes with knight to c3 and i play a6 open plays d3 trying to break open the center and i develop the bishop to f5 not willing to take yet asking opponent to take if the opponent wants to meanwhile i develop another piece which is always important to develop all your minor pieces in the initial moves and that's what i'm trying to do and if you see i think the black is ahead in development already uh, and has got the central control which is important opponent does take the pawn here and i take back with the knight asking for the knight to be traded off if the opponent really wants to which does happen and i take back with the bishop here in this position opponent plays f3 trying to kick my bishop backwards which is also weakening of the diagonal uh, from towards the king so there are moves which can come up in the future uh, which will be giving a check to the king here i first put my bishop backwards on to g6 what g uh, bishop to g6 does is defends f7 as well just in case so bishop on g6 sits nice open takes the pawn here and now again i can take with the pawn but my center pawn will be isolated pawn so i don't want that to happen rather i take with the queen now open takes back and i take back with the pawn at least queens are traded off yes the pawn is isolated might be a weakness in my structure but that's the only thing which is weak right now and i have to develop my knight uh, um, or my bishop first and then castle on to the king side open castles on the queen side and suddenly you see the change in momentum but yes this bishop is very nice controlling the light squares uh, so that's one advantage as of now here i play f6 very important uh, because i have to develop my bishop i cannot do much about this pawn this will go away there's no way to defend it uh, uh, so i thought let me just place my pawn forward on to f6 preventing this bishop doing any harm to g7 and i'm preparing to develop my dark square bishop now open takes with the rook i go with bishop to e7 and now open goes with bishop to c4 again a very nice developing move by the opponent uh, threatening that if i now castle rook can go anywhere and that would be a check to uh, to my king because of a discover attack so in this position i played b5 first trying to push the bishop backwards now my plan was if the bishop goes anywhere backwards what i can do uh is i can place my uh, uh, the light square bishop on to f7 which will attack the rook and once rook gets out i can take the bishop early in the position open could have saved it 
uh, by placing the rook backwards and that is nothing uh, opponent could have just saved it but now i'm first kicking the bishop backwards and then going for the idea so open thought okay let's not get into troubles and push the bishop towards the wrong diagonal uh, and which is bad because bishop to e2 is kind of a waste of peace now not being part of the activity taking away a square from the knight as well for development uh, which allows me to castle now open goes with pawn forward e4 uh, again a strange move yes you are cutting down my diagonal but what allows me uh, is to put my bishop on a another wonderful diagonal uh, which is uh, on this uh, diagonal which it's attacking the rook for now and my piece is active as well both the bishops are nice it's an open situation opponent also has the bishops but they are not together that's why the light square bishop for the opponent isn't working much the dark square bishop is in the right diagonal but again that i have a pawn chain there of two pawns though but my bishop is also contributing to the defense so i'm pretty good here the opponent goes backwards with the rook trying to defend the rook there by placing the rook on d4 and now i go with knight to c6 again a development move which attacks the rook as well the rook goes back now so ideally the rook should have gone back in the first move but doesn't happen and here i place my rook on to c8 but the idea is to give a discovered check maybe by taking a pawn next opponent sees that coming places the uh, king on d2 and now i get the other rook also into the action attacking with rook to d8 here comes king to e3 trying to just run away uh, and here i took on the rook first open takes back with the bishop and now i place my rook again in the open file open gets the knight out to e2 there's nothing much i can do uh, as of now here in the open file so i thought okay let me improve the position of my bishop why do i need to do so because opponent's king has run away to the other side of the board if you see uh, opponent is on the left now instead of the right if the king was here then my bishops were pretty much lying in the right direction but since the king swayed over now i want to swing over my bishop so the idea is to put it on uh, d6 and then c7 and then maybe b6 uh, the zigzag the snake moves from the bishop helping me eventually to target this king open goes with knight to f4 hoping that i'll trade off my bishop but no it's a bishop pair and my bishop pair is going to be active so here comes a bishop to c7 uh, not taking the knight and i'm just controlling the light squares here so the knight is going to be ineffective and now i'm about to give a check as well from bishop to b6 open places bishop to e2 trying to develop the bishop which i didn't understand the point maybe the opponent was willing to get the rook active but maybe placing the bishop on the other diagonal was better because what this does is leaves very little scope for the king to go that's what happens next i played bishop to b6 and that's a check which is covering the diagonal my rook is in the open file and the only the only square possible uh, for the king to go away opponent has already taken it off even if the opponent wouldn't have taken i could have placed my bishop to c4 and then i am also very much close to trapping the king with both my bishops so pretty interesting game uh, that's why i thought of sharing this with you all of you i enjoyed this thoroughly i adapted to the different opening uh, and I then went on to use my bishop pair effectively. I was pawned down, but in this position, open resigns. And I win because the only way to continue this game is to put the bishop in between, which I'll take off uh, with my bishop. And then open can move somewhere. Maybe I can then give a discovered check, grab the knight as well. So it's a complete distort in uh, position from here on. Uh, keep watching and sharing. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, and do let me know your feedback. See you again tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content like always. Thanks for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.